times, wherever you are, whatever day it is, whatever time of day it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is me going out to working backwards on Gabby Petito. This has become such a, uh, a surreal uh, story. Um, and again, I, I'm getting ready to do a video where I, I really think it's the, uh, this will be the end of, uh, these types of stories you see covered. So, um, uh, <laughs> even though she's the latest, uh, baby Jessica, she may be baby Jessica no more. Um, so the question I had earlier was, uh, I thought to myself, you know, what happened after, uh, Brian came back? I mean, you know, Gabby's not with him. And uh, they lived with his parents. So uh, what happens? Well, anyway, he breaks his silence. Uh, the fiance, Gabby Petito, a 22-year-old New York woman, went missing. And again, this is a, a, a two-week-old story. I apologize for that. Uh, just I, I'm just now getting to the point where I'm like, really? I want to know everything now. Uh, his attorney... Uh, spoke to the uh, uh, police. The uh, the police went to his house, and his uh, parents wouldn't let him in. So <laughs> this is understandably an extremely difficult time for both the Petito family and the Landry family. Steve Bertino said in a statement to Insider, "It was our understanding that a search has been organized for Miss Petito in or near Grand Teton National Park, Wyoming." On behalf of the Landry family, it is our hope that the search for Miss Petito is successful and that Miss Petito is reunited with her family. The statement continued, on the advice of counsel, the Landry family is remaining in the background at this juncture and will have no further comment. Uh, and, you know, that's smart. That's exactly what you should do because uh, with our, our uh, we used to have, you know, 24-hour news, the cable news stuff. You think that was bad. Nothing is worse <laughs> Then <laughs> the Twitter detectives, okay? Uh, people come up with harebrained ideas and um, uh, conspiracies and stuff within a second. And next thing you know, they are all over the internet and people are reporting them as facts. And a lot of times it's not. So it's best just to not say anything. I mean, if you said uh, the sky is blue, they would immediately say, no, it's not. It's raining. This sky is gray. Uh, it's just all. Uh, it's all part of our new clown world that we uh, live in. Let's see here. This talks a little bit about it. They left uh, from New York, and they're heading towards Portland, Oregon, on July 2nd in a white converted camper. That's a small van, by the way, too. Uh, the pair visited national parks across the U.S., including Colorado and Utah, and documented their journey on social media. Tito's family reported her missing on Saturday. Her last known location is Grand Teton National Park. Um... Then Landry returned home to his parents' house in Northport, Florida. That's a long drive, y'all. Gosh, that's a long drive. Where he and Petito have been living. A uh, spokesman for the Northport Police Department told Insider on Tuesday that Landry's family had refused to let him speak with investigators. We showed up. We see the vehicle. We take the vehicle, the spokesman Josh Taylor said. Uh, we make an attempt to talk with Brian and his family, declined to make him available, and they gave us the information for his attorney. So there you have it. They uh, lawyered up uh, two weeks after uh, she went missing, or after he came back. The uh, it's what a weird. I mean, this just leaves me asking questions, and I don't even know what I'd be asking. So, anyway, that's it for now. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, you know, hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on this. We're gonna ride this Gabby train out until. Uh, uh, everything is uh, just figured out, I guess. Uh, Brian is still missing. And um, other than that, uh, y'all, be good to each other. Love y'all. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. And please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. Appreciate it.